So what happens when you literally reduce the traumatization? And where is the traumatization primarily occurring? News, pain, fear, loss, real or imagined <laughs> threats to survival. That's what the anchor men, anchor, neuro-linguistic program, that's what the anchor men anchor you to, mm -hmm. a reality of trauma-based behavioral engineering so that you fear instead of love, that you lose faith, and that's the key. The key that opens the gates, the floodgates for prosperity in all ways is faith and the technology for taking that faith and turning it into miracles is literally this concept of prayer with heartfelt loving intention. And that's the same thing we're saying with oxysilver. It, it'll work because it's the best silver hydrosol, but if you want to take it into the quantum field of love and optimal sustenance, to recognize who you really are in divine, heartfelt, loving communion with the Creator, then you want to pray while you use it. You want to pray to amplify it. And it comes, it's so simple. The whole thing is about hydrosonics. The future of medicine is in hydrosonics. Shortage of water, that's the next, the next scam, is the water wars. This now scam of global warming, it's just being exposed. The new scam is we, we have a shortage of water. Excuse me, there's technologies that harvest water in the desert from the air. We have all these oceans. There's desalination equipment available right here, right now. I could put you together with a half a dozen researchers that, that'll build you a desalination machine. So the reality is there's no shortage of anything. There's only a manipulation of everything. Everybody asks me, how come you're still alive? The answer to that is, gee whiz, you know, you got to live in love with no fear. And what made me do that was the fact that I should have died six times already. Guaranteed half of you right here, right now, have had near-death or real-death experiences. And when you do, what happens? You know, you have such a glorious, loving creator that created you to live a life that when your most traumatic moment in your life, we, you know, it could be the most painful, traumatizing event in your entire life, what happens? You get put into this little cocoon, time-space war, where things like go in slow motion and etheric, and you're literally out of your body, and there's no pain, there's no fear. How do you explain that shift in time-space? You're talking about, you know, Einsteinian physics. You're talking about a musical mathematical matrix. There are parallel universes, and for you, who you are as a spirit, you're not in the physical. This is a very dense state right here, this physical. You know, water's wet, rocks are hard. This is solid, and this is deceptive, because if you were small enough to be an atom, you'd go right through this rock. And if you bring your consciousness, which is fundamentally the essence of everything, it's divine consciousness that infiltrates us and everything. It's intention, it's divine loving intention to create a sacred geometric structure called granite, which is one of the most electrically conductive of all of the physical earth, you know, materials. Radios work crystals. Computers work via silicon chips. It's crystals. The pyramids, sandstone and granite, because they're energy conductive. The human body is a liquid crystal superconductor. Water is liquid crystal superconductor. 80 some odd percent of your body is Water. part of the triune God. In the beginning, there was the creator, there was the water. And the universe, NASA scientists said this is completely full of water. The entire, they have water now that they've photographed in deep space, they found water in the rocks of Mars, they photographed snow in space. Well, gee whiz, the, it's just like the Bible says. So that's who you're made of. You are the living God. How the heck do you take a loaf of bread and feed 5,000? And What's wrong with me, many people would ask. Why would he think that way? How could you think that you could take a loaf of bread and feed 5,000? How do you walk on water? You know, it's really simple when you, it's not that I can do it and I can't, I can, honestly, I don't want anybody to think that I'm Jesus or reincarnated or, or the Messiah <laughs> or anything like that because the truth is we are all that. Yeah. We're all yeah. We're co creators. And so walking on water, the concept, is not at all foreign for somebody like the Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua, where he is so high, he's so vibrating because he's so close to the Creator in the essence of love. 
that you can do anything. So the lesson is we are divine. The lesson is if we want to have a planet that functions optimally and our own lives healing and being engaged in something that's far more engaging and reasonable than running away from one's fears. And it, it's, a, it's fear on every level. It's fear of not having enough money. It's fear of not having the right person in your life. It's fear of losing your job. It's this, it's, and it's this whole shift that has got to come about now because we have reached the end. It's either do or die right now. Either we're gonna have this transformation and we're already heralding and you all know there's a spiritual renaissance happening and we're celebrating it. And what a wonderful time in history that we're living in all of this insanity, lunacy, hypocrisy, but yet there have been those of us who are faithful you know, who have really kept the path of righteousness, right standingness, standing right in the kingdom of heaven is standing right in the musical mathematical matrix. There's nothing missing, nothing broken in the kingdom of heaven, which Jesus said is, he, did, he said it's not far off, right? He didn't mean temporally far off in time. He said it's near, it's right here, right now. It's how come he was able to levitate over the water metaphysically this is the key to the house of David it is the key and this is all revelation all we're living out revelation here it is the key to the house of David is love it's 528 Hertz frequency it opens doors that no man can close closes doors that no man can open and those who heralded it at this time the whole world shall come to this music there's no other way to salvation but to get that message of love. The Muslims are absolutely correct. This is a holy war. We're engaged in a holy war. It's spiritual, it's, it's good versus evil, and it's, in essence, it's not, going to, uh, it's not going to stop being that way until we enter into that messianic age, a thousand years of world peace. And that's what my focus is. And it's not for me, I mean, I'm, I'm getting old. But, you know, for your family, for your children, your children's children, and mine. You know, look at what we're doing. What are we engaged in that's meaningful? That could be more meaningful than literally creating peace on earth, heaven on earth, which is where we're meant to have. So now it's just simply a matter of heralding it and telling the truth boldly, bravely, and uh, getting out of fear. And the full message is just like that clear channel broadcast. You want a full measure of love, then you tune right into that 528 channel. It's not 527, it's not 526, it's 528. You want to get no static, full measure, full potency of love. The universal healer. Combine universal healer, love, with universal solvent, water, using the universal language, music, it's over. <laughs> That's it. Yeah.